Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to this exclusive live chat with Microsoft CEO Steve Barmer. Thank you very much for joining us here today. I'm also joined in the studio by a panel of readers from MSNDE and BuiltDE who won the exclusive chance to grill Steve Barmer for the next 20 minutes. What are the three main features that made Windows 7 the real successor and why? I think the three things that people are going to most respond to are number one, it feels more responsive, lightweight, uses less power. It's just kind of zippy, if you will. That's number one. Number two, the user interface, I think, is cleaner, simpler, more productive, and people respond to that. And then number three, it's got dozens of smaller features. What improvements and changes are conceivable so that the computer of the future may be able to be operated purely with fingers and voice. Learn to recognize what you meant, not just what you said. We don't want you to have to say, file, open. What you really want to say is, get me all the things I need for my live Q&A with built.de and msn.de. And we need more intelligence, artificial intelligence. That's the last thing we'll need. How can customers change from older Windows versions to Win 7? Yeah, if you're running uh, Windows Vista, we have a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward upgrade product that people will be able to buy at their favorite uh, software reseller. Probably Mediamark Saturn would be the biggest you'd find in, in Germany, but there's many retailers. If you're running an older version, uh, like uh, uh, Windows XP, I think many people will, because XP's been out of the market, many people will choose to get Windows 7 by buying a new computer at some point. If you want an upgrade, you can buy it. Unfortunately, it is a, a little bit more complicated process. You have to essentially reinstall, mm. back up and reinstall the operating system. So that's not quite as smooth as coming from Windows Vista. Do you fear Apple? When you run a company, you don't fear every, anybody but you are vigilant in thinking about everybody. Something over 95% of the computers that sell in the world are PCs, and only 4% or so are Macintoshes. So I don't fear, but I do think we compete absolutely with Apple, but we compete with Oracle and Google and Nintendo and many others too. 